According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention (CDC), 13% of individuals in the United States have diabetes, and a further 34.5% have prediabetes. This indicates that about 50% of adults in the United States have diabetes or prediabetes. Hyperglycemia can be caused by a variety of conditions that compromise blood sugar control. These internal factors can cause high blood sugar levels when your liver produces too much glucose, your body makes insufficient insulin, or your body cannot effectively use insulin. The latter is known as insulin resistance. External factors include certain medications, a sedentary lifestyle, stress, and poor dietary choices. Diabetes sufferers must pay extra attention to controlling their blood sugar. Hello and welcome to Bliss Health TV. Please click the like button and subscribe before watching the video. In this video, we will discuss four dietary choices to stay away from and six dietary choices to include in your diet plan if you want to control your blood sugar levels. At the end of this video, we will also show the results of this diet plan. Why is it important to create a healthy eating strategy? The program helps you control your weight, blood pressure, blood fat levels and blood sugar, glucose, levels, all of which are risk factors for heart disease. The best eating strategy for the majority of people is a diabetic diet, since it is naturally high in nutrients and low in fat and calories. More calories and fat cause your blood sugar to spike, which is not what you want. If blood glucose levels are not controlled, it can result in major issues, including high blood sugar, hyperglycemia, which, if it persists, may cause long-term difficulties like damage to the heart, kidneys, and nerves. What does a diet for diabetes entail? Eating three meals a day at regular intervals is the basis of a diabetes diet. This improves how well you use the insulin your body makes or receives from a treatment. The American Diabetes Association ADA, complies with the general public's diet plan, which includes a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, peas and beans, and low-fat dairy products. 1. Healthy Carbohydrates Simple carbohydrates like sugars and complex carbohydrates like starches are broken down into blood glucose during digestion, which may cause an increase in blood sugar levels. You should pay close attention to how many carbohydrates you consume. Concentrate on wholesome carbs, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, peas, and other legumes, dairy goods with low fat, such milk and cheese. Avoid highly refined carbs, such as white bread, pasta, and rice, as well as candy, sugary soft drinks, and sweets, as well as foods or beverages with extra fats, sugars, or sodium. Refined carbs can raise blood triglyceride levels and frequently result in rapid blood sugar spikes. 2. Fiber-rich foods High-fiber foods take longer for your body to digest, which results in a slower rise in blood sugar. Dietary fiber is any component of a plant food that your body cannot digest or absorb. Fiber helps manage blood sugar levels and moderates how your body digests food. Foods high in fiber include fruits and vegetables, nuts and legumes like beans and peas whole grains. 3. Omega-3 Fatty Acids Consume seafood that is good for your heart at least twice a week. Omega-3 fatty acids, which are abundant in fish like salmon, mackerel, tuna, and sardines, and may lower the risk of heart disease. Avoid fried fish and fish with high mercury levels, such as king mackerel. 4. Good Fats Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acid-rich foods can aid in lowering your cholesterol levels. They consist of nuts, avocados, olive, peanut, and canola oils. The calories and fats are high, so don't go overboard. 5. Consume dietary items high in probiotics. Probiotics or beneficial bacteria have many health benefits, including improved blood sugar regulation. Research suggests that type 2 diabetics who take probiotics may have lower fasting blood sugar, HbA1c, and insulin resistance levels. It's interesting to note that studies have shown that persons who ingest different species of probiotics for at least eight weeks experience greater improvements in blood sugar levels. Probiotic-rich foods include fermented foods such as yogurt, kefir, tempeh, sauerkraut, kimchi. 6. Consume foods high in chromium and magnesium. 
Micronutrient deficiencies are attributed to diabetes and high blood sugar levels. Some examples include deficiencies in the minerals chromium and magnesium. Chromium is involved in carbohydrate and fat metabolism. It might make insulin work more effectively, helping to control blood sugar. In fact, diets high in magnesium are linked to a much lower risk of developing diabetes. Low magnesium levels, on the other hand, may cause insulin resistance and lower glucose tolerance in diabetics. Chromium-rich foods include meats, whole grain products, fruit, vegetables. Magnesium-rich foods include dark leafy greens, squash and pumpkin seeds, tuna, whole grains, dark chocolate, bananas, avocados, beans. Foods to stay away from. Diabetes increases your risk of heart disease and stroke by causing clogged and hardened arteries to form more quickly. Items with the following ingredients can hinder your efforts to eat a diet that is heart healthy. 1. Saturated fats. Avoid dairy goods with high fat content as well as animal proteins, including butter, beef, hot dogs, sausage, and bacon. So also keep palm kernel and coconut oils to a minimum. 2. Trans fats. Avoid trans fats, which are present in processed foods, baked products, shortening, and stick margarine. 3. Cholesterol. High-fat dairy products and animal proteins like egg yolks, liver, and other organ meats are sources of cholesterol. Strive to consume no more than 200 mg of cholesterol each day. 4. Salt. Keep your sodium intake per day to 2,300 mg or less. If you have high blood pressure, your doctor might advise you to set your sights even lower. Bringing everything together developing a plan, the plate strategy. The American Diabetes Association offers a simple approach to meal preparation, basically emphasizes eating more vegetables. Do the following actions to prepare your plate. Include non-starchy veggies, such as spinach, carrots, and tomatoes, on half of your meal. Place a protein, such as tuna, lean pork, or chicken, on one-fourth of your plate. Fill the final quarter of the plate with a starchy vegetable like green peas or a whole grain food like brown rice. Incorporate healthy fats in moderation such as those from nuts or avocados. Include a cup of water, unsweetened tea or coffee along with a portion of fruit or dairy. What are the results of a diabetes diet? A Facebook user with diabetes shared the results with the community, says that despite taking 30 units of insulin daily, his blood sugar level remained at 309 mg per dl. His blood sugar level decreased from 309 to 100 mg per dl after he stopped eating whole bread or wheat products for three days and started eating salad and the diet we previously mentioned. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Until next, take care and bye.